Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second channel. Inside of today's video, we're back with some ranked content. Apologies for a couple of days off and also no stream today. I've just been a little bit sick and of course with the last few days of the season, it's not really too much to cover is there. Like, I've kind of been slacking in terms of the pushing, but it's just not been as fun. I can't force myself to push if I'm not having fun. There's only one day left. Hopefully next season is a lot more fun, but we're just going to be playing ranked, vibing and just talking all things Brawl Stars. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, jumping into the first game then so i don't know if i said in the intro i can't remember which intro i'm doing but I, i've not streamed today or just uploaded in the past few days i've just not i don't know what to really upload it right now at Corellian brew stars it's like no balance changes and that's just me right i like to do the meta i like to discover the meta i like to play a bunch of ranked when it's fun but right now everything just seems to suck i don't know whether i'm low-key depressed or something <laughs> no, i honestly just don't know i'm just I'm just enjoying squad busters a lot. I don't know what it is. Of course, squad busters is like nowhere near like in terms of a skill and depth of Brawl Stars, but it's just a new fun Supercell game. I'm having fun with it a lot. If you guys haven't checked it out, I've got a third channel on squad busters and it's doing really well. But right now, I'm kind of just in limbo. There's not much really going on with Brawl Stars. Like Draco's been released, but then there's like obviously no one can really afford. Well, not everyone can afford £20 to spend on a Brawler and it's just terrible value. So everyone's waiting for it to be released. And then, of course, we've got the new rank season. So I'm kind of like in this brief period of time, like for like four days now, where I'm kind of stuck. Like if I upload anything, it might be outdated, you know, that kind of thing. And then the update isn't going to be until the end of the month. So I don't know. We're um, a bit stuck at the moment. So maybe you guys can help me with some content. And yeah, I mean... We're just going to vibe in a minute, Jewel and Beetle. So we've got BB and Pam. So this is kind of screaming loot. It's not screaming Jackie whatsoever. This might be a good Lou game. Uh, who else do we have? Could be a good Jesse game. Could be a good Shelly game. Needs a game. I'm thinking Lou though, especially just to really shut these guys down. Oh, Lou is banned. Okay, you guys are probably screaming at me about that. Uh, should we go Jesse? Actually, I'm going to go with Shelly. You know what? I'm going to go with Shelly because I think Shelly's one of the most underrated brawlers in the meta. I've probably said this before, but I just think she's so underappreciated, especially just, just so many brainless randoms at the moment, just running at you with Buzz, BB, all of these other hype charge tanks. Like, I, I can't even, I don't even know the other ones. We get what I mean. Also, like, Max Composite. There's just Rosa. There's just so many brawlers. Jackie, like on our team, that just run at you. And Shelly's one of the only brawlers that can deal with it. Also, I don't know, I've kind of seen Charlie fall off a lot more. I've not really seen too many players play Charlie too much. I don't know if they just don't have a maxed out. But let's see. Also, let me do let me know what content you want to see with the rank season as well. Because of course I'm doing the same old what I normally do. But maybe if there's something different, and I could do that as well. Of course, I'm probably gonna do like a Draco guide as well for the first time in a while. I've wanted to do a brawler guide for a while, but I want it to be relevant, right? So normally I've got to do a brawler guide either. When a new hype charge comes out or when new balances come out because that's when certain brawlers are most relevant so i don't know why it pops clay pigeons there but hey ho might be to get this spike here as well another pam turret but we're just slowly chipping away the time here we're gonna get a good super onto bb and just destroy it this is what i mean like sometimes just don't overcomplicate it just go shelly she may seem like the super basic brawler but she's still really good she's got a good hype charge she's got a good gadget you can't really go wrong with her all of the time. So I'm going to bait this BB into knocking. Aha! Whoa! Bait the BB more like just get hit by the BB. Oh! And get hit by the bubble as well. Oh! Oh! That was pretty bad. I don't know why Pam's putting a turret behind there because there's literally a Jackie there who's able to destroy that easily. So getting close to my super here. I'm going to look to pop it pretty soon. Okay, Sandy. Ja let Jackie go in. Of course, that spike super is going to be annoying. And here we have a hyper charge. Going to pop it any second now. And there we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, a bit too much auto M spam. But here comes a super to slow the BB. She gets stunned as well. And here comes a Jack. Oh, if only Jackie like finish off the kill. That will literally would have been all three of us just destroying the BB. And look at that. You just can't go wrong with Shelly, especially on the, the grassy modifier as well. Why aren't more people going Shelly? I've like hardly seen her whatsoever. Of course, you can't like first pick. Oh, to be honest, pros first pick her on center stage a lot of the time. So you probably can, but I'm just not seeing it. I've, I've hardly ever seen uh, Shelly meta. And the weird thing is as well about Shelly, 
is that um, her some of her best counters are at the top of the meta, like Sandy, like Nita. So it's pretty interesting how she just kind of came out of nowhere at the top of the meta right now. I wonder why just Sandy wasn't activating the stun a lot earlier. I'm going to get close to the Pam here just so we can get some super cycling. That's a really good super from the enemy spike. Pam misplacing the turret again. I was going to say, the Pam's playing good, but that's like two, three misplaced turrets in a row. And you can't afford to misplace a Pam turret ever, really. I know I'm not going to be able to get the kill there on Pam because she just infinitely heals. And I mean infinitely heals. This isn't a great start, if I'm honest. So, we're getting close to hypercharge, though. Probably just going to... Yeah, nice. My teammates can pop their hypercharges. They can just go in ham here. I was going to say, there's no point in me running into the spike super, but no one's in the zone, so I may as well just run in and get some more time. Oh, bro, spike is charging through those supers like crazy okay we're behind enemy lines here so let's break the spikes ankle we're gonna pop hyper charge here we're gonna pop clay pigeons and just spam auto aim relentlessly I'm not gonna waste my super clay pigeons to confirm the kill and boy is shelly back in the meta and you just love to see it so we're just gonna target this pam instead we're gonna super these guys as well oh just look at this value is so good i love it i love life right now who am i kidding I love just discovering, well, it's not really discovering, but just going back to the roots of auto-aim. Just spam, auto-aim, what can they even do? BB just gives up as well, it's literally over for him. Let's just delete her. Oh no, my KD, no. Why? Okay, easy game. But let me know whether you think Shelly's underrated. I might just go her again. She's good fun, I don't know what it is. How can a starter brawler be so fun? I just have fun auto-aiming because I don't have to think. I just spam a button, right? But that's going to be the first game there. Let's hop into the next one. Guys, jumping into the second and final game. So I'll also let you guys know that I've got some other content coming on the channel pretty soon. Guys, I don't, know, I don't want you to like hate the content. It is still spend LC plays, but just thought I'd pre-warn you. Just, I don't know. It's been on my mind and I, I need to get it uh, uploaded pretty soon. But just making you guys aware. But also, we have safe zone right here. So... I haven't got, well, I haven't got, I'm not going to use Shelly on this map because why Why would you, why would you use Shelly? This might be a good opportunity to go the Crow, could be pretty good, we definitely need an Angela on our team and the Crow on safe zone maybe, I think I've been going a bit, a bit too much so, if I'm honest, any other brawlers that we can go into this Jesse, um... Can't really go too sharp. We're gonna go crow. You know what? I know it's an NPC brawler. Let's just roll with it, okay? Let's roll with it. Um I've been joining Crow a lot more, but I played Crow early on Kaboom Canyon. And with carrying Crow and the Mythic Gear, I feel like he's a little bit slept on. He's not like strong. And I know I've gone crow in another rank video earlier. And the comments were hilarious, by the way. <laughs> And like I was just sitting there scrolling through the comments and you guys were like stressing. It was like, no, my crows are gonna pick Crow and Shooting and Star. Newsflash, Crow is the best brawler on Shooting Star. So everyone that's watching this video right now, just go Crow everywhere, right? Just spam it relentlessly. Like your life depends on it because this brawler's broken. Okay, after that part, he's maybe not broken. I'm just hoping someone like clips that and then sp spreads the propaganda and bro literally had like his name's literally a sniper oh okay it's literally a sniper emoji and then his name's sniper i mean I've, i don't know how has he even got that into the game i see some wacky names in brawl stars but at least edgar's good into dynamite i mean it's okay into jesse it's not the greatest into nanny because if it's a good nanny they can just pop super and edgar dies every single time and of course ah uh, yeah legendary player edgar i'm not too convinced by this not too convinced so if i was to edgar just jump on a dynamite 24 7 just jump on him make his life misery or do the exact opposite edgar and just go for the safe okay that's a great dynamite jump get in four percent if he can do that with every life he will definitely not win the game so one thing i should have actually done is use shield gear against the nanny because i think nanny can one shot me especially oh edgar okay I wonder bro's name is Sniper. He's just sniping the enemy team. Look at him go. Absolutely insane player. And I don't know what on earth D'Angelo was doing. Did he just think he was Edgar as well? Everyone just thinks they're Edgar. Okay, time to get my super. Time to jump in like I'm Edgar as well. 
That's obviously a strat, but it is actually a good strat on heist, weirdly enough, with the star part, uh, with the super, to jump and literally super on the safe. It deals 10k damage, which is just crazy. That's just, to me, that's just stupid how people can play Angelo like that. So let's kill the Jesse. Auto aim right on top of the set. I don't think I did that correctly. I don't know how that did 3k damage with the first set of jumps, but it doesn't even matter. Edgar's going to go in here. I'm going to get my carrying crow star power on the safe, and Edgar's going to finish it off. Look at this. Maybe I'm, I just need to play ranked a little bit more. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes. I don't know. I, is this a, like a gun being held against my head here or something? <sighs> I don't know. I was going to go on a rant on Twitter earlier today. You probably tell I'm in a bit of a mood, right? <laughs> I was going to go to rant, like, saying, like, I just hope next update... Obviously, I hope it's fire and there's a lot of cool content, but I just hope they fix ranked in some shape or form because it's got so much potential. I'm just talking, just make it a little bit more competitive at the late, later stages. I'm not saying like I'm some insane pro player or something, but like just make it a little bit more competitive at the end. Make you want to push because the pro players right now are playing ladder and it's been a very long time, literally years since pros are playing ladder instead of power league ranked for eggs like, if that doesn't say say something like this is supposed to be competitive ranked is supposed to be where all the pros go all the best players in the world play this game mode but it's just not the case is it so we're gonna slow the jesse there just to get some good synergy with the edgar like he he must love me right now if i was that edgar i'd be like yeah that crow's a good player you know he's a great player but i'm just waffling creating my own entertainment at this point in time so we're just going to jump in like we're edgar as well we've got to slow the high safe yeah the high safe slowed go quick hit the shot hit shot Ang angelo the high safe is slowed come on we've got to be killing the high safe faster it's only two seconds slow get onto that all right so we're close to hypercharge but we're not close to super so there's that i might just slow the dynamite as well come on that's a slow dynamite surely we can get him down right Okay, just leave me a poor little crow to defend. Okay, surely. Nice. And we've got a hypercharge. Here we go. Here comes the big damage. Carrying crow as well is activated. I was about to say, I was, I've been a bit selfish. I was like, I'm hoping they actually get the Edgar down. Okay, that is not good. Okay, now it's good. We can heal up a little bit in time to just deal damage on the se <coughs> Um... <clears throat> yeah, um, you didn't see that, you did not see that, oh, hypercharge on the safe, here we go, hypercharge on the safe, bro, that Jesse turret, I, I kind of forgot the hypercharge one shoots bigger bullets, I think, right, is that just, is, is that a thing, I think that's a thing, and they look bigger, it felt like they hit me easier, okay, Angelo just finish it off, okay, we don't talk about it. I literally used Crow to get hype charge supers on the safe, and I just ended up getting carried by my teammates. I, I, yeah, Crow's an NPC. I, I literally just became an NPC. I came what I sworn to destroy at this point in time. But anyway, I completed the Crow quest, whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay, so that's it for today's video. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this one. 80th in the world, pretty good. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.